Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Let's look at my clear of level 24 of the Kinki no Goku. And I'm a little embarrassed to show this video because it didn't go as smoothly um, as some of my other runs. Uh, but this is my first time clear, so let's have a look. Uh, gimmicks here are damage walls and warps. Um, but there's only one damage wall that appears at a time, so if you do a uh, angle parallel to it, then you won't have any problem. And then to talk about the characters I'm using, first is uh, Sarutobi Sasuke. Um, she's a pierce with both of the null abilities. And then I gave her a survivor Ableberry uh, because uh, there's a lot of damage coming at us in here. Uh, next up is Richard the Third, I believe it is. And then she's a pierce with null warp only, so when uh, damage walls are out, then she's going to have a little bit less mobility. Um, I gave her the Spirit Crests. She has a bump combo lock resistance and then a uh, Light Slayer, and I think that's it. Uh, but yeah, she has the uh, speed up bump combo, which is super important uh, to use in here uh, because we need to get around and then take down uh, sets of guys in the same turn. And then her Ableberry is the, uh, what is it, Sling Style, no, the Style Kin Strength uh, S++. Uh, that's important because it gives all my Pierce characters uh, attack up. And then uh, Sarutobi Sasuke needs more attack in order to be able to one-punch uh, certain guys. Um, third is uh, All for One. He is a uh, drop monster from the My Hero Academia collaboration. Uh, he's also a pierce with both of the nulls. Um, he has a super meteor bump combo, uh, which can help us take down the uh, Thunderbirds that we see here. Um, but, you know, it's random, um, so we can't really count on it, but, you know, sometimes it can help us out uh, just by luck. And then last is the brand new uh, Takasugi and Friends from the uh, second Gintama collaboration. Um, he's uh, probably the best character for this mission. Um, I see lots of people using uh, four of him uh, or two of him or whatever, but um, I found that using one of him was just fine in here. And then uh, real quick, if you are thinking about pulling the uh, Gintama Hatcher in order to get uh, Takasugi, um, I would say maybe try this quest first using just one as a friend. Um, see if you can beat it, because just one does make a difference. Alright, but anyway, we want to get rid of all of the anti-bounce guys the first turn. Um, there can be like two or three or even four on the screen at once. Uh, so we need to take them all down. Uh, once they are gone, uh, we can go after the Thunderbirds, and then we have to take them down in the same turn. Um, they have weak points. Uh, but those weak points will not be really effective uh, for taking damage until we hit a uh, boot, speed up boot guy. So we hit the speed up boot, we get the speed up of course, uh, but then also the weak points are improved, and then we can start doing damage to uh, guys. Uh, maybe the most difficult thing about this mission is that the uh, kind of the time in between you hit the boot, and then when the uh, weak point is improved, there's a delay in there. Um, so you can like hit the boot, you know, get the speed up, go around and hit the guys. But if you're too quick or too uh, early, uh, you're going to hit them before they get the, uh, the weak point improvement. Um, so you have to like go around again and hit them again uh, before you can really do any damage. So kind of as a general rule, I like to aim for both of the boots uh, before I hit any of the little guys. Um, because after I hit the first boot, and I keep traveling, that's usually enough time uh, to uh, for the weak points to upgrade, and then I can start uh, hitting them and then doing damage. And then once the uh, Thunderbirds are gone, then it's just us and the mini boss, or the boss, and then we can do damage to them with the same technique. Uh, hit the boot guy, and then hit the uh, weak point. And then we have to be very precise when we hit the uh, weak points, or else we're not going to do any damage. Uh, the Thunderbirds, they do have one-hit KOs. It is the uh, lower number on them. Um, so, yeah, if you have, like, one uh, that has just one turn left, uh, you definitely want to focus on get ridding, getting rid of them. All right, here, let's use a Takasugi Strike Shot. It's a Command Strike Shot, plus he splits into four, and it comes out every 12 turns, which is very, very crazy. <laughs> 
it's a decent strike shot for doing damage on the boss when he is alone. Uh, but I think you really want to use it when you are uh, trying to take down all of the Thunderbirds in one turn. Uh, the faster that you can do that, the uh, earlier you can get at the boss. Uh, it does have a one-hit KO, uh, that center number on him. Um, although in these mini-boss stages, uh, these pre-boss stages, uh, that center attack won't kill us if we have something close to uh, full HP. And then, uh, here we're going to use um, uh, Richard's Strike Shot. There's not a lot of chances to use it because uh, she becomes a bounce. And uh, yeah, most of the characters, they have the weak points uh, inside of their hitboxes, so as a bounce, we can't hit them. Uh, but there, um, just to make sure I could avoid the uh, the damage smoke, and then keep my speed up and then get more hits in the uh, healing panel, um, that was a pretty good use of that, I think. Uh, some people, they, uh, you know, if, if especially if they are low on characters, they like to use uh, maybe two of uh, all for one, and uh, that can be helpful. Uh, then you're kind of really relying on the uh, the super meteors to take down the Thunderbirds for you. Uh, but there is that kind of a virus thing which hits you and then does damage based on how many of the uh, same character you're using. I don't think you want to use like three or more of the same character. Um, unless it's uh, Takasugi here, just because he's uh, so strong. <laughs> um, also about uh, Takasugi, um, you don't need to use the uh, the second tier strike shot in order to take down little guys. Uh, just the 12 turn first tier uh, is going to be enough, I think. Okay, here is the, uh, the damage smoke. That'll do quite a bit of, uh, well, damage to us. Um, in earlier runs, I was trying to use uh, Gabriel. Uh, she's a bounce with the double null, and then uh, the uh, chain lightning bump combo, uh, which can help you take down the uh, Thunderbirds if the uh, weak points are improved. And then as a bounce, she was good for uh, getting rid of the uh, damage smoke, and then also hitting the uh, healing panels. Uh, because again, as a bounce, she doesn't lose uh, as much speed hitting guys. Um, but I eventually gave up on using uh, Gabriel, and I put uh, Richard in there instead. Uh, because uh, Gabriel, you know, she has the becomes a pure strike shot. But you can only use that once every four rounds. Um, so there are kind of a lot of uh, dead uh, turns. And then although her bump combo is useful, uh, I don't know, it was maybe useful really like once per run. Um, so in the end, I just changed her out for another pierce with Null Warp. Um, just so I could have, you know, more movement uh, per turn. Uh, but a lot of people do love using uh, Gabriel in here. Uh, Setsuna is another uh, option. Um, I think maybe Gabriel might be the better choice than Setsuna. Uh, because uh, she has the double null. And then um, she has the, uh, the pure strike shot. Um, so she has some more mobility. Alright, so here we're just getting concentrated hits on the boss's weak point as we hit the speed up boot. And then uh, try to keep our HP up as well. And then anytime a uh, sword appears, I like to pick that up. Alright, so I picked that up with uh, Sarutobi Sasuke and then uh, took down the boss. And then we'll have speed up for the next... Uh, stage. Okay, so here too, let's uh, get rid of the anti-bounce guys. Okay, that is fine. Uh, we definitely want to get rid of the anti-bounce guys the first turn that we come on screen, uh, because then uh, the speed up boots will be uh, tangible and on field, uh, so we can take advantage of their speed up. Um, if it's the... Um, if we don't get them the first turn, then everybody but the anti-bounce guys will become intangible, and so we won't get the benefit of the speed-up boots. And then um, once you enter the uh, boss stages, it might be worth using a speed and power-up strike shot, um, just so you can make sure that you are getting all the uh, anti-bounce guys that first turn. 
Okay. Um, so this uh, fifth stage, and then also the very first stage, um, I found that that kind of zigzag up or down uh, angle is really good. Uh, better than a uh, up and down. Okay, so first boss stage, we have a difficult shot here, uh, trying to get all of the anti-bounce guys in one turn. Uh, maybe the best place to start would be the upper left corner or the lower right corner. Uh, then we can, uh, from the lower right corner, for example, go up, um, go through the anti-bounce guy, come down through the other one, hit the boot, and then take down the other two. Um, but if we start out somewhere outside of kind of that diamond shot, we can sort of loop around. Um, having a speed up bump combo would be really helpful in there. Um, the other option for speed up in here is uh, Atomu, that uh, Egyptian uh, character. Oh, that was a very good example of uh, All for One's bump combo helping me out. I hit the uh, one Thunderbird with uh, Richard, and um, you know I was just thinking that you know I'll take down the one, I'll reset the count, and then I'll get the uh, the other two in some later turn uh, because Richard wasn't able to move because of that uh, damage wall. Uh, but just by luck, uh, the Super Meteor hit that upper uh, Thunderbird, so uh, we were able to clear that pair that turn, and that's super helpful for helping us um, getting rid of these other guys. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was comparing uh, Atomu to uh, Richard. I think Richard is better. Um, she's the Pierce with a no warp, while Atom is the Pierce with no damage wall. Uh, no warp is definitely the more important uh, null gimmick to have here, I would say. Um, Atomu does have the uh, 16 turn strike shot where he gets null everything. Um, so he'll be able to move through warps during those turns. Uh, but yeah, just for overall, I think, uh, Richard would be better. Um, another good uh, free drop uh, character is uh, Barojka. He's a uh, Dark Pierce with the double null, and then he has, I think it's a 12 turn strike shot, where he gets a uh, barrier around him. Um, that can be useful if you want to uh, use him to get rid of the uh, damaged smoke. Uh, but I never ended up using him because, um, yeah, I had some uh, Hatcher characters. And it was funny, I was convinced that I had nobody uh, for this uh, quest. Um, and I didn't realize I had Sarutobi Sasuke until I got to this uh, uh, mission. I checked my box and I was like, oh, I did not know I had her. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's pretty great. Um, I guess the number one recommended character here is uh, Magoichi, um, but I don't actually find him that different from uh, Sarutobi Sasuke. I think the uh, the advantage that he has over any other character is his ricochet bump combo, uh, which you know flies around and hits everybody. And so in that sense, it's easy to uh, set off the uh, weak point improvement, uh, but it's not very fast. And it does zero damage uh, to the guys, even with the um, improved weak points. So yeah, he's good, and you know, he's mobile, but I don't think he's that much better than uh, Sadatobi Sasuke. Uh, if you do have him, of course, though, uh, you should use him. <laughs> okay, second boss stage. Um, I find this loop of, uh, or this group of Thunderbirds kind of difficult to take down. I still haven't really found the perfect angle to take down all three. Uh, but let's try this. We'll go across. We won't do a shallow angle up and down. We'll kind of do more kind of closer to a 45. And that will turn out to be fine. So maybe I did find the uh, right angle there. <laughs> okay, so now it's just us and the boss and we have nine turns until the boss is one hit KO. So we're looking pretty good on uh, this stage. Oh, and then the uh, the best place to use all for one's uh, strike shot, it's a tackle. Um, you want to use it against the... Um, the, uh, the white panther dragon looking guys. The, uh, the name escapes me at the moment. Um, but the one thing that's nice about it is that it takes a long time for it to do damage. 
Um, so you can go straight for the uh, the white dragon panther looking guy, and then uh, set off some bump combos, uh, which will set off the improving the weak point, and then uh, all for one will punch uh, the enemy, and then um, you can take down the uh, the white panther dragon guy in one hit. Uh, but kind of the area of effect of that punch is kind of small, so you really need to be as close to the uh, weak point as you can when you are stuck to the uh, the white panther dragon thing. Okay, so this uh, boss sequence so far is going very smoothly. I don't think I've had to use any strike shots, so that's crazy. So yeah, unlike all of my previous runs, the pre-boss stages kind of went, uh, they're kind of clunky, uh, but the boss stages are going pretty smoothly. And then here I was considering using uh, Sadotobi's uh, strike shot in order to get the uh, speed up. Uh, but I started out near the boot, so I could just use a regular attack, and then, yeah, that's another strike shot saved, so very cool. Okay, Richard's turn, not a whole lot she can do because um, there's that damage wall down there. It'll do about like 45,000 damage per hit, uh, so yeah, I definitely don't want to be hitting that. Okay, next all for one's turn. I'm really just waiting for uh, Takasugi's turn so I can use his command strike shot and take down everybody. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see what we can do with all for one. And I managed to take down the Thunderbird, so that was very, very cool. Yeah, the Thunderbirds are a pair here. Um, I don't think the White Panther Dragon things are a pair. They might be. Uh, but they don't have as much uh, HP as the White uh, panther dragon thing from the first boss stage, um, so it's not too difficult to take them down. Uh, so we'll use uh, Takasugi's command strike shot, uh, take them down, and then do a little bit of damage to the boss. And here we have uh, seven turns to work with, uh, so we're looking pretty good on this last stage as well. Um, here finally we'll use uh, Sadotobi's uh, strike shot, speed and power up. We'll do a real shallow angle so that hopefully we can hit the weak point multiple times up there. That's two, three, four, I think. Four hits, not bad. Yeah, but every hit counts like super duper much in this quest, so uh, the shallower the angle, the better. Yeah, I think I only hit it twice there, so not too much damage. Okay, but Richard's got the uh, bump combo lock resistance, so we can keep uh, using that. And there goes the boss. <laughs> Alright, that was a very tough mission. Uh, but I think I liked it, or I respect it more than like 23 or something. Um, because this is a quest that has to do with skill. There's no luck here. You're using all pierce monsters, so there's no irregular bounds. And then you can read your movements as you go, you know, as your pierce characters. And then know, you know, how many times you're going to hit the weak point. Uh, whether or not you can get rid of the um, the sets of little guys in one turn. Um, so in that sense, I respect the mission. Uh, I never want to play it again, but yeah, I do respect it. <laughs> okay, good luck with that. Uh, we'll have uh, 25 coming up next. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.